Hello Evergreen Traders and Investors, this is JC De Guzman. Welcome to our Equitox episode number 28. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about Frutas stock analysis and uh, Frutas or Fruit as its stock code debuted in the stock market in the Philippine Stock Exchange today, November 29, 2019, Friday. The question that I'm going to answer in this episode is, can it sustain its uh, ascent in price? Can it sustain its upward moving direction in the first half of trading this morning? In the afternoon, can it sustain that even though foreign investors are not that participative? Or should I say they don't have a significant participation in the, in the first half of trading on Frutas? Well, before I give you a yes or no answer, let me give you a rundown first of what transpired in the first half of trading on Friday. Frutas uh, priced at 2.4 per share, 2 pesos and 40 centavos per share as of recess. That's 12 noon. And it went up by 42.86%. So this is one of the IPO stocks uh, this year that closed on a positive note on their day one. But it's still not finished yet it's just the first half of trading so let's continue the total turnover value has already reached almost a billion pesos specifically 800 841 million pesos like what i mentioned like what the title mentioned foreign funds are not the main drivers of frutas today foreign investors they only registered a net foreign buying worth 1.9 million pesos and we can say yet that uh, it's more than likely for the price to continue. We, we can tell that yet. It's too early to say that. Anyhow, based on my trade and volume distribution analysis, the immediate support is at 2.15 while the immediate resistance is at 2.4. That's the lower and higher bonds or lower and higher ranges of the dominant range for Frutas in the first half of trading. And don't expect me to mention the uh, status of the tense MACD, the historical volatility, and so on and so forth because it's not yet applicable in the case of a stock that has just been, you know, recently debuted, that has just uh, debuted in the stock market. So it's too early to use those indicators. So here, for the true market sentiment, as of 12 noon, it's bearish. And there's a total of 110 brokers who have who participated in the first half of trading this morning the top 10 players buying average is at 2.11 whereas their selling average is at 2.2.15 okay it's bearish so this is one of the things that uh this is what makes me uh position my expectation this afternoon on a risk averse mode which one this bearish true market sentiment while the price went up by more than 40%, I don't see an alignment on the sentiment, on the true market sentiment. I don't see a, I don't see an alignment. So there's they are on a tug of war uh, at this point. So there's my re this is my recommendation. If you traded fruit as this morning, I strongly suggest that you monitor your trailing stop. There's a possibility for the price to, you know, to uh, to reverse in the afternoon because of this mismatch uh, of uh, of the color of the last candlestick and this bearish true market sentiment. The last candlestick is bullish. The first actually is bullish, but the true market sentiment is bearish. So they are con contradictory in nature. So eyes on your trailing stop. What's trailing stop? Well you could be in trouble if you don't know what the trailing stop is <laughs> use my trailing stop calculator to learn more about it so this is the link if you are you can also read the written version of this analysis on on our website okay just go to our website at www.equilis.com then click on learn go to resources and then learn click that one then you will see it right here okay so you can read that the written version of this uh report this uh, free report now if you don't have uh, frutas i strongly suggest that you monitor the price action in the afternoon if you see that 
the price starts to you know move towards the lower extremity of the dominant range I strongly suggest that you request for our latest analysis in our private clients forum so we can tell you if the if the uh, dominant range remains closer to the intraday high than the intraday low or not anymore okay so you can also see these links if you are reading the written version of this report of this video or podcast there are subscription there's a subscription link on the article on our website or just simply go to our website at www.equilis.com and click on the subscribe menu on top don't forget to subscribe to our free newsletters go to our website at www.equilis.com then click on resources and then learn you will see this orange button that says click here to sign up to our free newsletter so sign up for free do not forget to confirm your registration by clicking that link that you will receive from the automated email so that you will receive our next equitox episodes right in your inbox so that's my sentiment for today regarding frutas for the first half of trading again this is jc de guzman always remember be evergreen